Hello everybody, welcome to Dunmore Cave. My name is Johnny McGuidos and Storyteller. There's a lot of stairs here, there's 706 stairs on the round trip. Take your time, use the handrails, keep it safe. Okay, let's go. The entrance itself back there, that fell in in and around three and a half thousand years ago when the field above there collapsed. The river flowing through here at the time took away the support rock underneath. What you see around you is all limestone. Right down at the bottom is the lowest part of the cave you can get to. That's where the river went out. When it dried up 50,000 years ago, we'll have left tunnels when the entrance section fell in. A lot of rocks and rubble rolled all the way down to the bottom and blocked off any extensions that may be down there. This is a cascade stalactite, 50,000 years old, and it's called the buffalo because it looks a bit like a buffalo. Directly underneath on the floor, this is a stalagmite, and as you know, these two are growing together very, very slow. You wouldn't notice in a lifetime the very, very little change in the bigger formations like this. <laughs> it's a very, very slow process, is a cave thing, you know? What makes Dunmore Cave different and unique? We're the only one that's got the history. Back in 1973, there was an archaeological dig. And what they found was 44 sets of bones and 11 silver pieces. We have the replicas upstairs in the pigeonholes there. You can get a good look at them when we go back out. She's a local dog. She comes across here because she loves meeting the people. She's the welcoming committee. Uh, she's very, very good with the kids. She loves rolling over and getting the belly rubbed. 